To design a full wave rectifier PCB, we start with a new project. Full wave rectifier. We start with schematic. First, we need to add components. So we go to add symbols. We require two diodes, one N4007. Place, you can zoom in. We can copy paste, then R to rotate. Then again, we require a resistor. Resistor to rotate R. Okay. Um, for input, we require a three terminal connector one S03, two terminal. One, two, three. And the output will require a two terminals, two terminals. We'll connect using a wire. Yeah, output will be across the register. We can rename this as output and this as input. Okay. So our schematic is ready. We need to put a ground. And a power flag. We can check the electrical load checker. It should show zero error, zero warnings. Close. Once we have added this, we can go to assign footprints. Since we had put a part number for diode, your footprint is already assigned. You need to assign a footprint to junction. It's a two terminals, so terminal block finish. And we are selecting with the 5 mm spacing. Yes. Output also is same with the two terminals. And for register, we are selecting register TST. And click OK. Also, we can edit the value for our register that is 1.2k. We can drag and 
place it on register. So schematic is ready. Next, we'll go to file, export, netlist, export netlist. We'll give it a FWR dot net. So one netlist is generated. We can close this file. We can open the PCB editor. We can go to file, import, netlist. We need to locate the file fwr.net. Then load and test netlist and update PCB. Close. All the components have received. We need to arrange them and connect it via tracks. Now we'll start adding tracks. Make sure you check your positions. Always the screw terminal, this wire entry should be outwards. Here also the wire entry should be outwards. Now we can start routing the tracks. For routing tracks, it should be backside copper, BCU. We have connected all the points. This ground we can keep as it is unconnected. Uh, it will be connected via add field zone. Next, we need to provide a boundary that is H cuts. So, after selecting a boundary, we can come back to back copper layer and select add field zone. Click anywhere, select ground, click OK. And press letter B. So our tracks have been created and also ground is connected. So we can check the design with this checker. Done. So our PCB also is created. We can check its 3D view. The ground is connected via this path. So once PCB is created, we can also mention the names. in your PCB editor as well as in your schematic editor. Go to page settings. Give it a date. 
रिटर्न वर्जन वन टाइटल सेंटर टैप फुल वेब रेक्टिफायर रोल नंबर तो योर डिटेल्स विल अपीयर हियर सेम वी कैन रिपीट ऑन योर स्टेमेटिक साइड टू क्रिएट अ गर्बर फाइल क्लिक ऑन प्लॉट select a folder where you want the files new folder gur b select that folder yes now click on generate drill files generate drill file close plot repeat close your gurp files are created we can close this we can check our gurp files on the first screen double click to open and we can see the drill holes from this file pth so this is the output can close next if you want to simulate the same we can go ahead and simulate into our schematic for simulation part we'll have to add a source over here and this file should be explode from simulation so we'll add a power source z sign copy paste we'll require two power sources okay. we'll connect it to the circuit on its here the middle terminal that is ground is connected it will in both the ends so one amplitude will give it as 9 it's okay this also will give it as 9 then this is positive side is going here so here it will receive a positive 9 and here negative terminal is connected so it will receive a negative 9 it's like positive half cycle and negative half cycle now we'll add a label v in and we'll add a label v out your output will be observed over here we'll add a text command to generate a transient analysis dot train 1u as the step size and 10m as total time cycle click okay and place it on the screen so this is done Save the file. Okay, we have done the changes. We can go to the simulator. Run the simulator. You can see our input 
and you can see the output. We can also check the capacitance, capacitor action in this. So add symbol, we can add a capacitor. Give it the value ten micro. This capacitor will be connected in parallel to your resistor. And we see that our uh, it is filtering out any ripple and it is making it a smoother line. We can increase this value to 470. And we'll get a more smoother line. Let's see your work. 